Welcome to Project Zomboid. We're here as Humperdink Oglethorpe. I have had the hardest time saying that name. We're going on an adventure in Erie County. It's going to be kind of like a George Romero-inspired run. Uh, I intend to go on a lot of adventuring today. Our character is pretty much the standard one I play as. Look at the traits and anything you want, but I've made him relatable because of the gray hair. You, you're all going to have gray hair one day, so uh, let's, let's get ready for it right now. Uh, like I said, we're playing on Erie County, or Erie Country, I believe it is, with all of the new sounds. We love the new sounds with our ears. And I was watching uh, Clean do his Zomboid stream the other day, and he had built up like a house somewhere. And, you know, he's um, obviously not as good at it as I am. Um, but uh, I'm just going to talk. Pyro to challenge. Uh, Light any building you go in on fire. I mean, that. well, that would be with the floor. Is, yeah, thank you for the 500 bits. Red beard, the technical. Thanks very much. Again, we're streaming this, but uh, again, I, I just got to outdo Clean as best. I, of course, I'm kidding. No, Clean is a very good dude, uh, but he's uh, certainly no one is as good at, at Zomboid as I. Um, uh, where, where do we go from here? Um, no, I, I, I was kind of inspired by the, the uh, game mode he was playing. He was like stocking things up and making a house barricaded. It was very moody, and it reminded me back of George Romero and the reason why I like uh, like survival genre in the first place, because I find it so immersive. So I'm uh, kind of copying him here today by going back to one of my favorite maps, and I guess we'll try to like uh, build up a base or something. The only thing I always found not really that immersive about Zomboid is just the way that zombies kind of come to your base. You know, like, I always wanted it to be kind of like a, like they'd assault it at various intervals. And I've seen people try to play around with this with the helicopter event, but I always find that it ends up being too difficult and it's more worth it to just leave, you know what I mean? Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of waiting and hoping on multiplayer. Uh, so a couple of friends and me, I've thought about getting together some, uh, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it looks like this place has pretty much nothing. Let's check the upstairs. But yeah, I really want to get back to that sense of like, we're roughing it together, you know, we're surviving. I used to do this with my friends, uh, Ghoul King and Drunk on Life. We would uh, hang out in a server. It was a lot of fun to just kind of, like, try to batten down the hatches in a mansion. But I haven't really felt that in a while. I've just felt like it's been one sort of, uh, like, journey into the, into the depths of, of, uh, the, the inner machinations of, my mind, which are an enigma, so to speak. But, so we go on. Oh God, and these new sounds are really gonna creep me out. Quick save, quick advice for new Project Zomboid players, Bizarre asks about. I don't know, I'd say just like, uh, nah, just enjoy the atmosphere. That, that's the thing to me that made this game so great. I, I know it's frustrating to die. There is a way to back up your saves if you get attached to something. But I would say, um, I don't know, just check out some of the mods. I like Eerie Country. This game really has fantastic mods. Well, actually, don't check out the mods at the beginning. What am I saying? Now, my favorite thing about this map is I know, I know not where I am. Like in any other Zomboid map, I always know where I am. And it takes me immediately out of the game. So not knowing where I am in Eerie Country... Um, is actually very pleasurable and kind of brings out this sense of exploration. It's kind of cold here. So I guess you'll kind of see me as I as I do when I play the game. Mm. We have peas. We have cheese. <laughs> rhymed so so majestically those two words rhymed. Ah, great. Fun to have se Yes, having sequential characters is fun. I don't know, build up a, a story of them in your mind. I find that there's not enough story in games anymore, you know? Yeah, that's a good uh, sequential characters. So, we'll we'll keep coming back here as our main base. Okay, I'll go over a couple of things. Well, if you want to walk places faster, a lot of people, the first thing that they'll do in Zomboid is they'll immediately run out of breath, which is just big sad. Uh, you don't need to run everywhere. You can just right-click, go walk to, and then, you know, speed up time 
with F1 or F2, and then you fast walk, and that's like a better way to pass the days. Sometimes I find it kind of takes me out of the immersion, though. I like to be in the here and now. All right, so we're going to bear grills it right here. Oh, wait, no, I didn't ask you to sit on the ground, did I? There we go. We're going to bear grills it. What is that? See, I, I've not really played since the sound update, so I don't know if that actually has an effect on me. Sixty says, did I check out black and white Pokemon black and white? Leveling up, leveling up running is somewhat nice. Well, the one that you really want to level up is your fitness. Um, which we won't do because it takes forever. It does really take a long time. Now we're getting really cold. And we're not getting particularly close to any marking signs of civilization. We've got about two train stops, but I may just freeze to death before I actually get anywhere in this. We're not really in much danger if we just keep walking, though. Oh, a stream, a babbling brook. Uh, amazing, right? That is kind. That is kind of nice. We're gonna keep on walking a little bit further, but I don't trust most of this because I'm actually going hypothermic right now. We're actually going to have to go back to that factory we started at. I'm getting a bit of Silent Hill right here with the fog, the moody. Heading for the next station. I guess we'll, you know, because I don't want to die of hypothermia. I may actually have the cryogenic winter up mod on. I don't even remember which mods I have on. But I find it more pleasurable to not know the game and just get lost in it. So I'm a little peckish, but we can eat the peas and the cheese back there in the train station or wherever it was. Here we are. What I really want to do is just kind of get a radius on all sides around my house. The last thing I would want to do is get lost in the woods. Here I have my deer head and my, uh, no, why didn't I do this right away? Not a bad show to tune in on. Okay, we're going to sit on the ground. I've been told that this, here we go. Good, we got, we got in right at the beginning of the programming. Isn't this kind of like Inception? You're watching a video on a live stream. That's wild. I know where the spawn is. Might actually, I might freeze to death. Well, I'm glad if I freeze to death. I hope I do. Oh, they changed the XP multiplier thing. It just shows triangle now. But look at how marvelously quickly my XP goes up. We'll be constructing floor in no time. I like that sound better. I like that much better. I have to head to bed, so I'll be more listening instead of watching. Wowzers. Jesus, thank you for the very generous 5,000-bit donation, little bit. Oh, God bless. Thank you very much for all that you do for me. I appreciate that. I'll be listening. Well, no, I'm not going to be listening to you. You'll be listening to It's like when you say to a waiter, thanks, you too. Like, I'll enjoy your dinner. Well, I, I didn't say it like that, but you know what I mean. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. So I stream with this stream blew my mind. Well, we enjoyed that great programming where they said literally nothing about carpentry. So I think we're going to just... I mean, I, I don't really think we can do much here. But this is the kind of, like, uh, out-in-the-open hopelessness that I've wanted to feel in Erie County. I don't even know what time it is. I have cat's eyes, but I don't know what time it is. So now let's just make the most of it while we're here. We don't have any tools. I think we're forced to literally sit on the ground. But let's see, is there a... What will Humperdinck Oglethorpe find in the... Literally just planks. It's unfortunate I can't use those things. Alright, well, I guess let's just take Chip, Penny, and use napkin and put them on the floor. Ah, so many articles of clothing and items to just discard upon the floor. I do find it really satisfying. Don't you like placing things on the floor now in this game? It's nice. Look, I just put paper clips on the ground. There they are. Wow. So immersive. I think I'm going to put one of them on the table. Let's put it there. <sighs> Doing great, man. Hey, future man. Hey, thank you very much for the prime. 
Excellent. All right, so let's just sleep upstairs and hope that the temperature improves tomorrow. Not much else we can do uh, besides sit here with Chip Penny and use napkins. So uh, wash. I'll drink. I'll drink. This is always a good reason to drink. You shouldn't always eat. In fact, why did I eat cheese? I should have just let myself starve. Still not tired enough to sleep yet either. Shot in the dark Alas. here. Oh, immensely powerful water and land capable one. I'm having a tough time figuring out what I love to do and what to do with my life. Do you have any wise words, oh great philosopher? That's, that feels like that's a lot. It won't say Pizzat. Thank you for the 500 bits. I don't know. I, I just started listening to uh, like a stoic podcast that kind of guides me in my days. I don't think I'm really qualified for like existential life advice, but I always think it's good to just take a step back and reflect, I suppose. We'll do some of that right now. It'll be kind of like light fare. Be kind of light fare. Hmm. Love to do and what to do in my life. Ah, uh, but maybe it's not that heavy. Ah, uh, magical woodland. Hang on a second. Wait a second. This. Oh, boredom goes down now when you watch TV. This is new. Isn't this new? This wasn't here. Uh, that's not I this didn't exist before did it okay now I'm finding this more immersive everyone loves the sims and the sims is like project zomboid listen there are crickets now my god my ears are exploding with pleasure oh we won't die because there was a house right next to this well that is kind of fortunate I don't know I feel like that I, I'm kind of beginning now on a sense of malaise though but that's kind of like life you know I had some trouble last year figuring out what to do. And then I concluded that in a lot of ways, life is sort of like a game. I'm not saying that this is the truth, the be all and end all, but you know what I mean? Like whatever you do, you got to put your confidence in it. Even if you, even if you find yourself universally skeptical about the world around you, sometimes it feels like there isn't anything to latch onto. But in reality, the meaning is what you give to it in life. I think that's true. There's more meaning in the in the question there than there is in the answer. My God, this house is American. Oh, I feel an American killing this zombie. Come here, uh, Axel. What it really does appear to be Axel Rhodes as a zombie. There we are. I'll gladly wear you this. Uh, thank you, Axel. Doesn't t don't tell me that that doesn't. All right, I'm not going to try to explain myself so much. Yeah, the sound effects are great. Yeah, maybe we could try one of these VHS tapes. Now, this is one of the right types of TVs, is it not? Uh, we could. My God, how do we use the TV? Oh, we put the VHS tape in. My God, I feel like I'm back in the 90s. Ah, oh, this is amazing. Here we are. Oh, play that. Yes. <sighs> okay, so we've got the cooking fixed up, and we're watching the thing on soup. Will this actually teach me how to soup? I am learning to soup. Yes. You can bowl for soup. Oh. Just like the band from the night. Well, they weren't really the 90s. They were more the, the aughts was when they came into their prime bowling for soup. A great play on words. A great, a great band that was featured frequently on the Disney Channel. Ah. Don't undersell myself. What, for reading about soup? I mean, not reading. Uh, presumably, we're not reading here. Let's just... Uh, Man, I really wanted to find some, like, uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll keep picking things up. See, my regret is that Clean's house seemed to be so, like, so much that of a survivalist. I kind of wanted to get back to that... that cozy feeling, you know? Like, of having ammo. Like, but, you know, like, true... Not, like, crazy person, like, loading up ammo. I mean, like, you know, ammo with which to defend oneself ammo on the countertops. 
this house could be the one, you know, with that American flag. It seems like kind of a survivalist bunker. We're trying to preserve all of the elements of the old culture. Although America is now uh, lost to the zombie menace. Ah, God damn it, I can't close the curtains. Crisis soup. Soup always is a good honest food. In fact, I've got some cauliflower and some potatoes in my fridge. My God, look, how did it... How did it... Don't... Why can't I close the door? There we go. This is as many as I maximally feel comfortable. My God, these sounds are so gloriously violent. I'll say... I'll say I'm very impressed with the Noise Works update. Ah, oh, nice. Ah, oh, look, this prisoner had a hammer. And then he died. Although I feel like the jumpsuit looks... To be kind of honest with you, the jumpsuit looks somewhat badass. Although it's a prisoner jumpsuit, I think it would be useful against defending against zombie scratches. You know? It'd be nice. All we need is one. All we need is one. We could put the rip sheets into my new duffel bag. There we are. Everything feels much more... Look, there's some bran on the counter. Bran. Bran. Oh, we could put that into our backpack. I'm always tempted to eat, but no, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna stuff myself today. That, yeah. Three bags. Yeah, it's nice. We could carry one in each hand, but I think that would be kind of a slobbish thing to do. For now, I'm just going to eat this Malone. Here we are. This Post Malone. You think Post Malone enjoys water Malone from now on? If Post Malone drinks water, does that make it water Malone? <laughs> oh, I'm so good at this. Oh, God. That was really funny, wasn't it? All right, let's, uh... Ah, oh, God damn it. There's so many impassable streams in this. Ah, hey, boss, man. Like the content, please post more on you. Actually, there's another video coming out soon. I'd like to. I don't know, I've been kind of taking my time more with the videos now. I really want them to be, you know, last the this ages. Is ambiguously cozy. But thank you. Thank you, I appreciate that. Ah, uh, no. The zombies are coming to kill me. Oh, that is a bit of... My god, that door sound is... Jarring. I don't want to confront you outdoors. There we go. Why did I eat that Malone? Uh, yes. A wristwatch. There we are. I'm, I gotta say, I'm not a big fan of the new watch UI. I kind of miss the old one. It was more pixelated. Hey, Solo Sheepy, thanks very much. Ether Renegade, thanks much for the sub. I very grateful. I appreciate. Very thank. This is a sad excuse for a bedroom. Mm. I still haven't... Maybe we'll find some weapons in here, though. You know, we're in, like, mobile homes. Maybe these people have, you know, maybe they've got, like, some house defense stuff in here. No. Here we go. I come sneaking in like Water Malone. I don't know if I'm ever going to think of Post Malone in the same way again now that I discovered this fantastic wordplay. What is that flag on the... What is that flag? My god, it's gloriously violent. Have I got any Kenshi stuff I've been brewing for YouTube? Ah, uh, Kenshi, I've been thinking of a couple new playthroughs. Basically, the way that I write down ideas for videos is I just have a big spreadsheet with, like, hundreds of ideas in it. So I could keep on making videos for, you know, many centuries to come, and I don't think I'd ever run out of ideas. Ah, antidepressants. These are what we need. Uh, sheet. Not that I'm so upset, but eventually I will be upset. 
Yeah, you put them all into like one big vi- uh, one big spreadsheet, and then you just kind of keep going through them, you know, so you never really run out of ideas. So I've never really felt that. I, I think just the thing is that I, I often feel like my narration kind of stays the same. So I had to go back and, you know, things that people won't notice start to annoy me, like little word repetitions, stuff like that. Um, so that's what I've been spending. I've been spending the last couple of days re-watching one thing, and I, I don't like it, so I keep trying to change it. And then you don't like it more. So, but I, I don't really like to talk about that stuff on stream. I just kind of, I feel like I enjoy streaming to get away from that type of thing. And it's not that I don't like editing. I love editing. Uh, but it takes time. I guess that's what I'm saying. If only antidepressants work like they do in the, yeah, indeed. They are very effective. We still haven't found a weapon. I despair. And yet I do feel more immersed. You know, one complaint that I had was that the game seemed kind of like blocky in a way. You know what I mean? Like in bad ways before with the noise, but now I feel like it's... It, there's more than meets the eye to it. And yet at the same time, I do... Maybe I have my volume turned up, but I, I do think it needs a little bit of refining. Like, it could come down a notch. Like, sometimes I, I hear him stomping on a zombie, and in my head I'm thinking, that's a lot. Whoa. But maybe it's because I'm used to the game being kind of cartoony, you know? And it's become more hyper-realistic uh, in that you can put things down and pick them up like you can in real life over time. Yeah, but, I mean, we are at 650 hours now, and I've still not really gotten tired of it. I, st I, st I do genuinely like the game. Hmm, suitcase. I would feel like I would be more important if I walked around with this suitcase. Let's wear this bucket hat for style. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I look like Dale from The Walking Dead. Ah, here we go, a flight case. Do you think I'll be able to fly if I... There's only one way to find out. Flight case? Who's... Who's flying in this? Like an airline? Am I... Am I missing something here? Game is running smoothly. When I played it, chugs and stuttered like no one's business. You can always go back to the old builds if you want. I kind of miss the old Zomboid with the, uh... You know, like, where it wasn't as good. I do. But I like the new one, too. I like them for different reasons. Hmm, let's walk around. Nothing suspicious about me. Nothing to see here. But it's not like there's anyone I have to explain it to, right? Can amphibians fly? Ah, a, a police station. Here we are. All right, I, I got nothing now. I was reaching for that one. Too bad that I can't use this case. I think it'd be it'd be bad to get smacked in the head with this case. Look, everyone, it's Walter White. Oh God, we murdered Walter White. The unknown history. Okay, I, uh, there's more sounds coming in than I'm even used to. Like I can't even really take account of all the ha the sounds in my ears. I got a second. I think I'd better put down that case right now. What is this? Mc... McFudgingtons. That's literally what the place is named. Okay, we're gonna... Uh... We're gonna go in. Oh god, there's... It's actual cells in here? Well, we can always jump out the window, so we will... We won't worry about that so much. Let's get a plank in my hand. This is the sheriff's office, Jesus. Okay, I, God knows how we're going to attach a plank to my back. Can we figure out who's out there? Huh. They lost track of me. Good. Ah, here we go. Up, up the stairs. This is why I like Erie Country, because I, I can't figure out... Where do they put the guns in this place? Mm. No, down. Very down. Mm. 
I can't seem to find anything here. Let's go around the corner, friends. Is it considered murder if they're already dead? I suppose it's not. I think I think I've said that before. I murdered a zombie. No, I think it would just be I I killed, right? Yeah. Hmm. Ah. Uh, this counter is very overpowered. I can't jump over it. Do we have on that mod where you could play the piano? No, we don't. That's unfortunate. You know, I was driving in my car today. And what's that song from Reservoir Dogs, Stuck in the Middle with You? And it's such a catchy beat. But I couldn't enjoy it because of Quentin Tarantino. Um, yeah, that was a little frustrating because I realized that he kind of ruined a catchy tune for me. And although I like Reservoir Dogs as a piece of art, I I don't know, I, w I just wasn't feeling it at the moment. It's very violent, you know. I was just driving the car, trying not to crash. You ever do that? You get in your car and you just think to yourself, I'm going to try it. Like, I'm going to make efforts not to crash. It's good. But I couldn't enjoy that goddamn song, and I, I like that song. So I'm taking out my anger. Uh, that's very satisfying. They've updated the individual weapon sound effects. It seems... That's definitely a plank. That's the sound I would expect, and it makes me enjoy hitting people with a plank more. My god, why won't you die? I would... My lord, that's good. All right. Well done, everyone. Well done. Hey, thanks for the luck. Hey, thanks for coming out, Pizzat. Much appreciated. Oh, look, they got a deal. Can I, can I get some help? Damn it. Uh, uh, why is it... Uh, wh they need to change this haircut a little bit. I only think of Will Smith in the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air when I see this haircut. It's just, it's too evocative, I'm afraid. It's just like a subtle, like a subtle difference. I don't know, maybe that's just me? Am I the only one thinking of Will Smith? Like, uh, every time I, I hear it, I just hear that that drum playing, you know. Now this is the story. And it just, it comes right out. Comes right out. Ah, an annotated map. I think we found the adventure for today. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, we're nowhere near West Point, unfortunately. But let's read the... Oh, I do like how it re how it does correlate with the world, though. That is somewhat immersive. Uh, can't seem to find anything. Oh, well, you know, we're on an adventure now. We have a bucket hat. We have uh, a duffel bag. We're still looking for a gun. That plank was quite useful, though. Well, let's go see if we can find another one. And then I also got to catch my breath. No, still not really finding anything. Okay, we'll go into the other room. Here I go running again. After I just talked about n don't running. There we are. Good. Erie Country. Erie Country is probably my favorite map. Quite probably. All right, it seems we've stopped on somebody's farm. So assuming that there is a farmhouse here. This is like a farm factory, like a farm tree. Uh... Do these crops actually grow? Hmm, that is... Oh, they they do run. They do, in fact, grow. Okay, well, that one has a, an axe in his back. So I'll take that. Let's take him on. My god, I can even hear, like, the rustling of the bushes. Was that my own character's voice? My god, that's actually kind of crazy. Yeah. That's an owl hooing. Jesus, I have not heard these sounds. This is new. See, the crazy thing to me is that usually whenever you hear, I could have one watch on each wrist. So badass. Uh, see, the reason that kind of took me off guard was because usually the only time that you hear your character's voice is when you're dying in this game. Otherwise, he's quiet, like Cicero. Can I beat Project Zomboid with only one girlfriend? 
I guess we could do like a split screen thing. What? And then get like a like a divorce at the end or something? Oh god, that was nice. It gives me more faith in these weapons. Okay, I am very sleep now. Uh, is, this is like the jigsaw room, you know? They lock you in there or something. Okay, folks, I've got to clear out this house. Lights on. Someone is a mouth breather. But look at these fantastic farmhouse rooms designed by none other... I can't say none other. None other than the amazing Atox War... Ah, shit! That actually did scare the hell out of me. You can't turn the noise up that loud. That was very scare. Very scare. Jesus Christ. That, that was a that was a better that was a next level jump scare. Yeah, this game did that pretty well though. You know, open world with jump scares that are are actually quite effective. Sinar, 2012. Thanks very much. Appreciate the sub. What what was on the bookshelf? I gotta go back and check. What for now? So few opportunities to do laundry. Um, fill your water bottle from the laundry machine. I haven't had the luxury of taking off all of my garments and putting them into the washing machine. The funny part is that I did this today in real life. I was at the laundromat. It was great in the laundromat. Uh, so many festivities going on in there. <laughs> um, I have no idea what I'm saying. Let's turn this on. It's probably going to get me killed tonight. Is the screen vibrating? Okay, now it seems like I... Sh God, I, we don't wear briefs anymore. We wear tidy whities This is the vanilla game, right? I'm not big on that. I'd rather... Can we have boxer briefs, too? This means that a mod is probably coming out for boxer briefs. Though I suppose that it's more true to The Sims, you know. In The Sims, don't people wear tidy whities Tidy whities I don't think I knew that as a kid. Then somebody told me that I was wearing tidy whities as a kid. And I... I just felt horrible. I was like, they're not, no, they're not tidy whities Stop saying that. And from then on, I wore boxers. True story. True story. Not a very confident lad. But, uh, but it's, as it turns out, boxers, I find a lot more comfortable. So we'll rest. We'll rest. Are we able, are we, is it, are we capable of sleeping? Yeah, something like that. In before the update, you gotta find under. Yeah, it'd be. Well, you know, I just don't want full nudity. I, I don't want to have to wash my underwear. Though it would be kind of funny if they did the. Uh, no, actually, I wouldn't really want them to do the. Bl well, you, they could do ki kind of like Rust if they decided to implement it. You know how Rust has all the various clothing options. So many options in Rust. All right, it's 10:20 a.m. We slept. Rather late, but we went to bed rather late, too. So, wow. Apparently, you can just... What, are these wet? They're not wet, even. Wow. Do you think there's, like, an odor? They still haven't even implemented, I think, some of the smelling systems, if I'm not mistaken. Do I even have on socks? Don't believe I do. No. No. Hey, Schwarmly. Thanks Hello, very much for the friend. prime. Very appreciate. Very thank. Yeah, the scare. Stop talking about my jump scare reactions. I still don't have very good ones because that one I was legitimately not a, uh, uh, prepared for. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. Ah, nice old TV. It'll, you know, the game will really come to life to me though when I can. Wait. Are you kidding me? We can sit now in vanilla? Wait, is, is this vanilla or is this from a mod? Someone tell me that this is... Someone please tell me that this is vanilla. That's a mod, right? That's the sitting mod? Oh, I could lie down on this. Oh. God, he looks like Socrates. Parrot Snakey Poo said there's some marinara use going on in here. Thank you. 
Hey, Triple G, God bless. Thanks for the 300 bits. Keep an eye out for the Marinara. I think that this is the sitting and lying mod. Yeah, it took me a second there. Oh, we could play The Sims. Oh, I, I had a moment there. I thought that we could... Now, I, I've been told that the reason why we can't sit is because we can sit only on chairs that face this way. I don't know why, but I'm just going to sit down again because, my God, look at that. I think I'm just going to do a whole video about sitting. Lie down again. Oh, look at him lying there, considering his knee and his ankle. With the uh, slight, well, we've got a, lot, a couple of issues there, but it's, uh, it's beautiful nonetheless. Absolutely breathtaking. Okay, we've had a better day now. We're slightly starving to death. That's good. We want to lose some weight. Yeah. Hmm. All right, let's shout out. Let's see if we can find the zombies. Wish you could customize your your yell color. Like, why pink? Could I change that? Ah, oh, listen to that. The whack. You know, if you ever read the Walking Dead comic, there's a lot of various, like, onomatopoeia going on. Not really onomatopoeia, but they always try to illustrate the sound of the weapon that they're using in it. So it'll say thwack. And pchock for the sounds of weapons. You know, lots of uh, plosive sounds. And sounds where there are literal explosions going on in your mouth to make that sound. I find it quite accurate and nice. But I, I think they've... They, they did a very good job with the weapons individually. There's some things that are... I guess just like balancing. You know what I mean? Snow. Using furniture and stuff like that. Technically 2D while your model is 3D. I believe that in the ultimate plan, they're going to add like a little bit of 3D-ness. Depth? I don't know, to everything. I've seen a, a couple of stills of like what the game is planned. I don't know if it'll end up being that or what it is. I'm just an idiot. I know nothing. But yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of the models have been given more depth. I don't think that it's so far-fetched to assume that that might... We might start to see continuingness in that trench. Military. Oh, that's a good outfit. Yeah, for just a person. Uh, no, it doesn't look good on me at all. I'll wear my jeans again. You know, the idea of, like, military clothing in the apocalypse often seems cool, you know? Like, uh, self-defense. But at the same time, I just don't think it really works on me in terms of like, uh, you know, the the fashion, the fashion. Ah, here we go. Antidepressants, ah, and vitamins, disinfectant and bandages. Okay, all things that we need, all things that we need. Good day to you. Grab just a. All right, back out the door. What were the odds that we would have gotten into my favorite season in Project Zomboid? One of the reasons why I enjoy this game so much is just the weather. It always seems to keep me coming back. Like an addiction. Hmm. Hey, Ivia, welcome in. Spontaneous existential dread. Ah, uh, but don't you, don't you have that when you play this? My god, that was loud. I still don't know. Even some structures that look somewhat unsuspecting in this area may have more than meets the eye. There may be a gun in here. You know, like shotgun spawn. One of the reasons I, I sometimes find some of the vanilla maps to be too vanilla, if I may. You know, may I, may I say that? Sometimes it's nice to just come into one of these modded, nicely modded areas. And experience it for all its majesty. Electric wire. Nothing in there. I'm still finding merely melee weapons. What we might be able to do now at this point is go back over to that police station and see if there are any guns in there. Because I think that they're becoming more and more... More of an opportunity, I suppose, in the game. Right now... Or before, previously, or really anything before Brita. You couldn't seriously use guns, but now they're... You know, I, I think that they're worthwhile now. Brita's is in mod is necessary. That'll probably be in 
just about every single multiplayer server. Now that's a new ambient sound. I'm not used to hearing that shotgun sound, or maybe that's just the shotgun sound revitalized. Just Gerald Williams? No, this is uh, Humperdink Ob Oglethorpe, a name that I'll stumble on every time I try to say it. And it'll be worth it. Maybe this will be the next man, Humperdink Oglethorpe. Thanks to your amazing ideas. They call him Johnny Two Hatchets. Yeah, what about dual wielding? Would be a fun mod, right? Wouldn't you like to ha have something in the other hand? There we are. Ah. Man, I can't wait to get locked up in the county jail for something. Look at that. Just you in a bed and a toilet. It seems like you'd be really, uh, you know, able to get some good thinking done in there. Some good... <sighs> Why have this many jail cells and have no way of executing the authority? You know what I mean? Oh, listen to that. Like those sounds. Okay, nice. Very nice. This kind of makes me want to get back into map modding. You know, I really enjoyed modding maps. Any of you folks ever remember those map modding streams? We would go into the building editor and we would just create buildings. There used to be a Project Zomboid, uh... I don't know if it's still around. I actually, I rescinded my membership in this server because I just had too many things going on, unfortunately. But there were little communities dedicated to making maps and things like that in the PZ community way back when. This is before build, this is before the animations update. You know, way back when I was a boy. Ooh, interesting glass buildings. Okay, reasons to be secret. It might be fun, but I found that it took so long to reach gratification. But I think, you know, probably I have the largest Project Zomboid community on YouTube now. So I, I think we could rally the troops to a grand uh, map-making contest or something like that. That might actually be kind of fun. I wonder if there's a prize or something like that. I, I'd have to figure out a prize. <sighs> That'd be nice. But it would spur on the... Uh... Now, now I'm just kind of... I don't know. Uh, can I even execute all of that? I feel like I have I get a new idea or a plan or something like that, and I can never really execute these things. But it sounds majestic and amazing. Oh, I like the sound of that. Mm, empty mug. No, nothing in here. It's nice though. I don't know. It's like experiencing the game for the for the first time again. Do all of this now. Can we have the indoor gardening? Oh, that'd be so nice. Oh. Oh, yes. Some of them are... No, not all of them. No. No. No, not Humperdink Oglethorpe. This is an issue with the pathfinding. Can we get this fixed, please? I'm right here. God damn it. Do I have on multiple push? Oh, multiple push is my favorite. Hang on a second. Wait a minute, do I have... I haven't played with multiple push in so long. If I'm not, then I want to, because it reminds me of the old uh, country. Do we have that on mods? Uh, key and ignition. Oh, no, you know, that's a sandbox setting. If I do... I don't believe multiple push is on, but this may just be a normal vanilla setting now, then. Oh, look at that glorious multiple push. There's one push, and then there's another. Just when you didn't expect it. Uh, listen to how loud those crickets are. Uh, and now I can have two watches, one on each wrist, both digital. Fear me. Yeah, sun praising, welcome in. Prize one whole... Pre something for the Twitch? That'd be kind of nice. Maybe like give away a Twitch sub or something like that. Yeah, I don't know, but it... Just the idea is... Uh, well, the, the thing is that's difficult about Project Zomboid's mapping tools is that uh, it's very difficult to leverage what you've already built. And the best way to do it is when people, like, for example, it's tremendously difficult to rotate um, prefab buildings, unless if they contain certain pieces of furniture. For example, it's a pain. I like this. Multiple hit is on, too. Is this default vanilla? Look at all that multiple... Wow, so nice. 
But yeah, there's a lot of things that if you delegate them to a community of map makers, it makes the whole process much easier. Ah, uh, yes. Mm hmm. Overalls. Yes, these are needed by me. Good. Humperdink Oval Ovalthorpe. Wearer of overalls. So honest. The multi stuff is vanilla. Well, I stand corrected. I'll eat my bucket hat. Wow. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. This didn't used to be this. It makes the game accessible again, and I have gladness for it. I Genuinely, I thought that the game got too hard when they introduced the animations update. So uh, there were a couple of tweaks that I felt like a like a troglodyte, you know, using them. But um, no, that's actually really nice to see. I was thinking that the difficulty would be rebalanced when multiplayer hit, but at the same time, that's nice. That means that you can take on larger groups. Okay, my faith has been restored in the indie stone. Huzzah! Oh, God damn it! My god, I, I actually don't want to make loud noises right now because they irk me. To at least remember multi-shove being vanilla. Multi-shove and multi-hit both used to be in the old builds vanilla. I mean, you can turn them on in mod settings, so even if I've got them off, maybe I should just play with them on. Of course, I'm being... I'm exaggerating here. I don't really feel that strongly about all of this, but... It's something I've thought about a little bit over the last couple of years, just because I've seen the game change so much. It's it's come up and down in difficulty. It goes all over the place. Water bottle. I have a water. Do you think water Malone will come out of the sink? Hey, DHG game. And Theta Argolis. Thanks for the primes, my friend. All right, what are we in? What's that tower in Pokemon where you go up it and then you come back down? Not Lavender Town. Lavender Town was a bit mature for its time, you know. Pokemon actually do die. <laughs> Only when they lose really bad. Hmm. Nah, that's a load of malarkey. It's malarkey. Hmm. Nails. I love them. Uh, why is this is the most random stuff to keep in a tower? What was the tower in Silver and Bell Sprout Tower? That was it. Yes, morose. I was morose. Ah, oh, that's an excellent word. Now, you know what I think would be really nice is if we could just read a classic. Maybe we'll read a classic sometime. I've really been trying to read more classics, and I try to force myself to get into them. That would be very obnoxious, though. It'd have to be something in the, you know, we could read like uh, perhaps Stephen Crane or something. One night on a stream, you have nothing to do. Maybe you'd like to hear some Stephen Crane. Yeah, I'll say that. You know, I, I find that a lot of the videos I tend to make, I just find that I, I, I feel like I use the same words too often, and I don't like that. You know, I'd like to get into more words, more verbiage. So it might help to just do some more reading. I got back into reading in my own life. Didn't feel like I had time to read for years. And now I finally have time again, and it's nice. You should try to do it, but also, too, you know, it can it can be hard to motivate yourself when there's no immediate reward. Try to find something, find a reason, an incentive. Oh, so badass parkour. You know, the funny part is that I, I started doing a running group in real life, um, but I was kind of like... Uh, it wasn't really what I expected because it, we were just climbing up and down fences with a lot of people. Like the person was kind of CrossFit, but she was just telling us to do all of these things that were illegal. Um, <laughs> so it was somewhat awkward. Um, you know, like you don't want to be rude, but you don't want to, you know, break the law. Um, no, of course I'm kidding. But it, they were kind of edgy, you know. She's like, hop that fence. We're like, okay. We were in a park. Ah, golf. There we go. You should always make your effort an effort to get to like a spin or a yoga class, though. You'll live longer. You, it's true. You'll live longer. 
this garage is playing hard to get. Yeah, hardcore run group. Well, there were everybody in the run group that I was in was saying hardcore part. It was pretty funny though. I, I actually might go back to this group. <laughs> Trying to lead us into a series of house robberies for something like that. Something like that. Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> There was an, an exercise group that you went, that you frequented. <laughs> where was actually just... Hello, double A at work, just popping in to say hi. A little over oh, a year God. hype. Oh, God. Hey, Matt Morals. Hey, how are you, my friend? Very happy to see you. A-C-K-S-H-U-A-L-L-Y, ah. Mr. Streamer. I know someone who died in a spin class at a local gym. Not doing parkour, though, but spin, that's tragic. Damn. Spin is intense. I went to a spin class once, though. Usually, that's not how they go. But, uh... It was... I mean, you could have if you if you went really hard. But it doesn't... Some of that stuff gets, like, hot yoga. But I don't think that people are going to start coming after hot yoga. Like, sometimes it's too hot, right? Ah, uh, this could be my abode. This could be my humble hovel. It has... As Sheriff Eli would say, a plethora of stuff. I like I like when Eli talks. He says he has some good stuff to say. What's the most positive uh, kitchen appliance? A can opener. Get it? Because it can open. <laughs> oh, so good. All right. Uh. Oh, we got some stuff in here. Uh, mostly useless. Now, this is where I'm going to channel my inner clean. I was watching Clean stream the other day, and he was putting things down. It was marvelous to watch the amazing putting down of things. So I'm going to put... This is going to be like my own house, where just there's everything everywhere. We could put all of the food in a corner. Wow, look. So thematic. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, three cans of beer and a beer bottle. They've, my God. They've answered our prayers. We could put all of the, oh God, it's like chip penny and used napkin. Oh, so nice. I was going to say anything magnetic, but anything magnetic. Oh, I get it. Three cans of beer a day. Well, I've just got a lot of... Well, I've, actually, I haven't, I haven't had a drink in a while. Usually when I drink, I'm not drinking at my house, though. I, I have it out somewhere else. VHS, home VHS moderators. So I've got all of this, like, Labor Day beer in my fridge. But I don't think it really goes bad. It, I looked at the expiration date on beer. It lasts quite a while. I was surprised. I thought it was, like, 20 minutes. You know? Oh. You can even hear the fence being jumped over. Oh, so edgy. Except that this this fence would not make any sound when it was being jumped over. It made this... <laughs> it's, like, it's like how rivers used to make the sound of a sink. Not gonna lie, in a lot of my videos I've just turned off the game sounds. Because if people would be like, why is the river a sink? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna eat some lettuce. Let us eat. Look, low in calories. So healthy. Don't we have the river over there, though? Let's see what I'm looking for. We still need a bed. We still need a bed. It's kind of nomadic still, just these first couple of days. We're, we're destined to be nomadic people, but let's go back into that garage where there was just TV. I mean, this could be our home, except that I destroyed the door. That was that was kind of unfortunate, actually. We could move in the furniture, though. That would be an absolutely marvelous idea. Yeah, let's pick up this chair. Yes, we're not required to do carpentry to pick up a chair. I like that. Yeah. Pick that up. Why can't I? The chairs are. This is chairception. Look at the chair. It, like it's. 
It was right there. Now there's a fourth chair. Do you see that? I mean, I guess one of them was a couch and only two of them were chairs, but there's more chairs than there began with. Maybe Sigmund Freud was right about... Or no, it was uh, not Sigmund Freud. It was that other gentleman with the uh, mustache. What was his name? The uh, the gentleman there, nobody... People are, don't like him that much. Schrodinger's chair, not Schrodinger's chair. Uh, the, it's hard to say his name. No, N yeah, Nietzsche, Nietzsche. They don't, he said that there would be more chairs, right? I never actually studied any of Nietzsche. Nietzsche, Nietzsche, I don't even really know how to say it. No, like a lot of classic stuff, but a lot of modern philosophy just gets kind of like, ugh, you know. Except for Charles Taylor. Charles Taylor, I like. The Ethics of Authenticity. All right. I awake in the morn. Ah. I don't, e I don't even want to disturb the quiet morning air with the sound of this garage. Let's slowly amble our way on into the rolling purple hills of the Republic. There was darkness then, as there is darkness now. And in my quiet morning, I walked closer to the zombies. The zombies, they were relentless. Relentless, gray-fleshed maniacs. Take my sub. Don't question it. Not question it. Thank you. Hey, friendly not friends. How are you? Thanks very much. I appreciate that. Look, multiple hit. Oh, I love multiple hit. I am so glad. I have not checked if someone's trying to sell me something for a few seconds. There we are. No, I hit you, though. That, see, they, I hope that gets fixed because I was on top of him. All right, I'm going to stop complaining. Quietly, I walked into the rolling purple hills of the Republic, underneath the morning air, buried in the dark. There we go. That's nice. I don't know, I, whenever I play a video game, I like to think that I'm narrating a tale that already happened to someone. Someone with, you know, a family and cares and dreams and desires. Uh, this music, this uh, sound of the storm is amazing. Oh, that's kind of nice. They've added like an EQ filter where if you zoom in more, it takes, like it raises the, the high pass on the filter. Either that or it's just the gain. I can't tell. It's definitely a bit more high end. There's a couple things happening, but that is majestic. Wow, that is very good noise works update. Mm. Yeah, the squeaky zombie hands on glass are nice too, aren't they? Whoops, didn't mean to sit. They need to make it harder to accidentally sit on the ground when you're trying to walk somewhere, I, I feel. I've been complaining a lot, though. I could be less of a whiner. Wine would be nice right about now. Hmm. This is a marsh. Atox warrior, did you leave any path for me? Atox did a fine job. Did he add in foraging zones? He did add in foraging zones. I recall that I played this map a few years ago. And I starved in the woods because I couldn't find any foraging zones. Ooh, edgy sound of the fence. Don't miss that. Don't miss out. Oh, the warehouse. Every area in this just has so much personality. You know that on this map, you can actually find the house from the original Night of the Living Dead. Swamp. Ah, oh, yes, Magic the Gathering. We were chatting about Magic the Gathering. I've actually recently overcome my addiction to magic. I've been drafting a lot. I like limited format. It's good. But I, I decided to just settle on a board game night with a friend of mine. In a, uh, in a couple days. It'll be nice. It's good. You know, you got to do some tabletop gaming. Brings you together with people. Look at this place. Now, this is some place that I might perhaps be able to call home, except that it doesn't have that 
majestic back porch. You know, I feel like I'm sometimes doing sort of like home shopping in real life when I look around for homes in Zomboid. This house is already practically done up for us, though. Look at all of the... Look, there isn't even a window in the back here. It's very cozy. Ah, it even has long johns and padded pants for the cold winter air and a scarf. Wow, that's nice. You know, I really wanted to live in the north. There was, I, I, I wanted to live in the south, too, so I, I moved to the south. But maybe after moving to the south, I'll move back up to the north because it brings out like the, like the hunter in me, you know? Hmm. Water bottle. There we go. Hey, Q-C-Kin, C-Quin, dude. Hey, thanks very much for coming out. Have I ever looked at the Spiffo challenge? You gotta collect the static Spiffo spawns on Insane Pop. It was super challenging and a fun experience. I feel like that'd be a nice end goal for the game. And I don't think it'd hurt the game if they added in an end objective, kind of like Tynan did with uh, RimWorld. I think that was a nice move, you know, gave people a sense of completeness even if they don't have to do it. Be nice to see that, but you know, it it had it was some time coming with RimWorld too, so I don't think that was his first thought. Now I never play RimWorld colonies to finish them; I just play them for the experience. Ah, oh, let's look at the snow through the window. I'd really love to be able to zoom in closer. Except that none of my clothing matches. I look sort of like a. And I look kind of confused, don't you think? Hey, C. Quinn, dude, thanks very much for the sub. We're disliking bases on modded maps that are just too perfect. Like, they've clearly been built for desirable player places. I feel that. Yeah, you know, like, I'd rather get the gratification out of building a base myself. And I feel like I'm insecure about my base because it's not like the ones that are already made. Like, this place is quite nice. I think it'll be nicest when NPCs are in the game, though. I've seen, I've had some really good NPC encounters with Nolan Richie's mod, which is a fantastic mod. I'm sure you know it, the Superb Survivors mod, formerly Super Survivors. He's a good dude, um, and good modder. But I feel like that's been the best experience I've had. The one thing with players is oftentimes people will shoot on sight. To be honest with you, the game tends to attract. Ooh, operations. Or at least any multiplayer game that goes on too long and doesn't collect a big enough audience always sort of turns into Rust in that it's just very... Except that people don't talk as much in this as they do in Rust. But I think availability of microphones in the last 10 years has kind of proliferated that people will probably do more talking in Zomboid from now on. Because you can talk to other players through your mic, which is always an exciting experience. Now this, I could get behind. It's not perfect, but it's nice. My overalls are soaked. Let's put them on the ground. Yeah, look at the, God, look at the, look at the ass on the <laughs> It's like, it's like I'm still in them. Jesus. That is like a lot of, that is a lot of, yeah. Wow. All right. Okay. I'm I'm all right with that. Magazine. Uh, what have we got in here? Feels like the world's worst waiting room where they're just trying to distract everybody. Well, it's 8.20 a.m. Actually, technically, we could get back outside again right now. That'd be fine. The cultist compound. I don't, I don't really know if it's a cult. Well, let's see if we can break into one of these other buildings because... It seems as if we break in here, we might manage to find like an armory or something like that. That's where I would keep it personally. Foraging. Okay, we found the infirmary. So that's something. So I wasn't wrong. These are specialized rooms. Let's see if we can find more uh, trash that we don't need. I don't know, I've just been looking for a deadly weapon. I feel like it would be nice for me. I deserve that, right? Ah, that was unexpected. He was right at the door. Not as bad as the first jump scare, but nonetheless, that was... 
it may be a, a, a couple of hours off of my life, if I'm being honest. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. All right, let's try this other room. Surely I won't make myself that. Uh, exhausted by destroying three metal doors with a metal axe. Ah, I predicted this. Did I not say this five minutes ago? Oh. Tank crewman got are these the uh these aren't the night vision the night vision goggles are quite amazing. These are not the night vision goggles. Okay, we just hit the jackpot. Took me long enough. Hmm. I think we could just leave those. Yeah, we could leave those on me. I'll I'll keep them. Um okay, now we're kind of channeling our inner clean right here. I was very jealous of him before. Now I'm not feeling quite as jealous of him. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, 545 drum mag, not bad. Nah, actually, I'm not kind of... Uh, Gorka pants. Gorka pants. Okay, what are Gorka pants? Ah, uh, these are actually quite nice. I did like these. They're kind of baggy. I do believe that we were able to... Were we able to blouse pants? Am I mistaken in saying that you can blouse your pants in the game? Did I turn off weapons made after 1992? I think it makes it more balanced and realistic. Uh, no, I... To be honest with you, I really like them. Um, so I leave them on. But maybe I'll do a themed playthrough at some point. Ah, okay. This is good. Ooh, a bober. That's something. This gives me bite defense. We really want to prevent the bite defense. Broom, broom, cars noise. Hey, Doom Pig, thank you. Much appreciated. Mm, bite defense 20. I think we're really more worried about the bite defense, so we'll leave on this jacket. The crewman goggles are nice, but we don't need them. Hmm. Radio shack pack. I don't think that this is necessary. I mean, it looks interesting, but... Was it 45 carry weight? Looks cool. I'd put that on some guy. Yeah. But uh, not me. Uh, M2A... Is this the... Uh, oh, God. This is one of those launcher weapons, isn't it? Espas... There is an alarming number of weapons in this in this mod. And I haven't even checked. It seems as though there's more than there used to be. Uh, wait, we had a tactical cap. That seems kind of badass. I'm going to take it. Uh, it's probably better than a bucket hat. Uh, police duty. Duty. <laughs> duty. Guys, it said duty. Isn't that nice? Hey, Misha Pro Team, welcome in. Yeah, Brit is nice. Bars for Gor Gorka 4. Gorka 4? Like there were three more before? Spot. I think we're going to do this one. Is this the flamethrower? Is this the flamethrower? I believe I've... M2A1? I bl yep, that's the flamethrower. I've not even encountered this. This thing is totally new to me. God, I didn't want to have to, like, find out about a new thing on stream, but... I guess here we go. Uh, let's learn to use the flamethrower. Much to everyone's dread and future anticipation of failure. Um, let's go ahead and put this duffel bag on the ground. This duffel bag is not superior to this, is it? No, it's not. Okay, let's light myself on fire then. Immediately. I'm sure this thing is going to be heavy and unwieldy. Hey, McShizzle. Hey, thanks very much for the, uh, for the sub. Okay, uh, I have to don it. Jesus. Okay, M2A1. We're going to need another canister in there. Let's just... I'm going to warn you, I've never used this thing before. Not once. Is that enough? This looks like something. SRM1208. Those aren't the same letters as we started with. Uh, Adidas Killa jacket. I'd like to see what that looks like. But, um... Yeah, let's get on with it. Just gonna change out my cap so that I at least look cool if I die. Uh, okay, 
All right, I'm not going to say that it's the coolest thing. I think I need to take off the scarf because I don't just think that that looks very good at all. I'd rather keep it off. I don't think anything looks particularly good either. Let's also take off the mask because I don't think that's doing me any favors. Okay, this looks slightly more normal for the apocalypse. Bucket hat going on the ground. Uh, what does this look like? <laughs> we could go Adidas. Uh, that'd be great. Hey, a dog named Kevin. Thanks much for the gift sub. Mm -hmm. A1 tank. We would doff it. How do we even... M2A1. I might not even have this gear to get the M2A1. Hang on a second. Uh, it says that it's not loaded, so it is not. A, it has nothing. Ammo count zero out of fifty. No bullets found. Okay, so we need. Well, it's gonna say bullets, but we're going to need M2A1 fuel, I suppose. It might call it bullets, but do we see anything with M2A1? What's a schmerz vest? Oh, so many, too many options really now. Uh, that's capacity 90, capacity 10, 2.7. We just got to do a little quick comparison with these. Weight 1, capacity 10, 90. That makes this one worse, quite object. Oh, uh, wait a second. Nope. I take back what I said. How much does this one weigh? They're exactly the same thing. Okay, so then just go buy whichever one looks cooler. I like the one I currently have on better. Oh, yeah, I'm losing HP. I don't think I'll die, though, just because it's only from a heavy load. Uh, famous last words, right? We'll put that on the Smirsh vest. We'll put back on the backpack, and then we'll put everything else in there. I don't want the Adidas jacket. I don't know if I... I don't think I really need the golf club anymore at this point, either. We'll put the canister in the backpack. Okay, I'm not dying anymore. Good. Now, obviously, that isn't really that useful. Uh, and I'm going for fashion this time, I think. Wait, 0.5. I don't even really feel like looking at that. Suppressor pistol. We do need that. That is really useful. Weapon light small would be good. Mm. Protective suit. That looks good. And it, it, it also looks good. You know what I mean? Like we've been looking for something that doesn't just look like ass on us. Okay, good. Uh, tactical headset, kind of badass. We could even wear that with the hat. I don't know why I'm wearing it, though. It, it doesn't actually have any function for us. Unfortunate that we can't use it to communicate with players or anything like that. Uh, Fairwind tactical belt. I believe that's about it. Let's just grab one of these weapons. We've got an M16... It is loaded, an AUG, and an MK-18. So let's go ahead and take, that one has a weapon light on it. Uh, how, how else are they in condition? What have we got um, in terms of ammo? We got a 19 millimeter. We have, what is in here? Uh, that is 45 ACP. We don't have anything that takes 45 ACP, do we? Uh, this is probably the most common ammo type probably what we're going to end up with on our way out here um one second i think we're also the ammo sling is probably worthwhile let's take that as well yeah because it doesn't seem like we're going to be using shotguns uh oh wait that is the weapon attachment my bad i thought that was the thing that you strapped to your chest five five six five five six nine uh, okay um mm, depends on what you think you'll find it That's also empty, so I'm not feeling too particularly amazing about that. Let's go ahead and just take the the AUG. I'm not proud or anything like that. It's just that we have the ammo for it, and we don't really have any skill right now. Okay. It looks like something is happening now. I believe they've simplified all the ammo and reloading to just one button now, right? If I'm not wrong about that we still don't have that in there is it loaded not loaded why didn't he put that one in uh this is double stack do we have does it takes it does take double stack 
Hmm. I don't think I'm finding what I needed. Oh, did I miss night vision? Really? Was that on the ground? Was that the uh, the thing there? Tank crew goggles. Or maybe I missed it in the place. Uh, PVS something. Thank you. I would not have wanted to. Ah, God bless you. Thank you. Night vision is quite cool. If you can find the batteries, the one thing is that it does tend to drain battery power rather quickly, which is not particularly fun. All right. I'm feeling calm and cool and collected now. Let's go around and do some stuff. This is what we want to get to in Zomboid. You know, we want to get to the point where we're surviving out in the open. I'm going to go ahead and just change my mod options. I believe that on... I, I think I turned everything off with the gun mod. Movement gauge, dynamic recoil. We want to basically turn everything on. Yeah, we'll do firearms and melee. Show range, hit percentage. Uh... I think the rest of these things are pretty good. No knockdown experiment. They really did a good job with this mod. My god. Why? I'm not going to change any of the other stuff. I just want to change the heads-up display. There we go. Looks like I need to get a bit closer because I still don't have a very good shot. Okay, now my crosshair is green. And yet I still miss because I suck. Body armor and magazine carries part of the Brita mod pack. And, uh, Brita has an armor mod, too. So, Brita's mod is very good for a lot of things. Uh, good. We do have the all the extra ammunition. Now, I can't tell why I'm screwed up with this. I think it's just because I'm too far away and I'm bad. But it looks like there isn't really even any... Oh, Jesus. What mode am I on? No, that's rack. How do I change my fire mode again? Through all the anger in life. Ugh. Hey, Mr. Waffles, thank you very much. I hope, I hope, uh... Why are we on burst fire? Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, uh, now we're gonna have an answer to our questions. All right, now we're going to have no more ammo left. Well, it was fun while it lasted. At least we got in a couple of practice shots. And we get a little bit more information about the weapons. And we look cooler doing it. I'm getting better. I'm improving. We've also attracted many zombies to our location, but really not as many as I thought we would. I expected that to be much worse. All right. We're walking through the woods. We're walking. We're walking. The music is playing again. This is like that episode of SpongeBob where they go out on the boat with Mr. Krabs and the music starts playing with the suspense and they're trying to catch the clam. I always feel that. Hey, hello, hats. The ba um, so yeah, Britta has made what I consider to be some of the best mods. That basically... I mean, it outdid ORGM by so much, and I believe it was merely inspired by it. I don't know if he used the models from it either. But I, I think they, they probably chatted with them. I wonder if I wonder if it has any collaboration with ORGM. I've really not had my head in the modding scene that much anymore. Again, I'm just an idiot. Don't take anything that I say for, like, uh, gospel truth. I used to be more into the modding scene, but I haven't been as much as much anymore. Uh, nice burned down house right here. I like that. What's inside? Oh, sad. Lots of weeds. But this is kind of what I picture a lot of Kentucky would be after the apocalypse, you know? Hmm. Hmm. I like that. just nice it's like the game commentates itself with the noise now it's just such good noise such good noise ah uh, here is the spiffo so this is one of the challenges oh uh, it's adorable uh 
It's also pixelated. I suppose, is this one of the challenges of the county? Like, we're supposed to find all of the spiffos? But, and yet this one is, like, surgically implanted into the ground. Yeah, it's not a 3D one. I guess that's because this map was created a long time ago. Who knows how they're spawning in? If I played, uh... State of Decay 2. I haven't played State of Deca Decay 2. I've played State of Decay 1. Not bad. I thought it was okay. Uh, I don't really think I played it for long enough. So, not really a very fleshed out opinion that I have. Alright, now it's getting time for bed. Time for bed, Fred. Let's go over to this suspicious looking community over here. Why are the houses so small? They're probably not houses. They're probably chicken coops or something like that. See if we can find anywhere to sleep. It is 3.40 p.m. It's past my bedtime. They sound very aggressive and, like, real, the new zombies. The one thing that I, I think is... Some of the motions do still feel, like, a little bit... No, I want to say robotic. Like, look at the way that I'm running. It looks a little bit unnatural, right? And yet, some of the voice... Some of the sounds sound very, very, like, uh... Hyper-realistic. Like, almost in kind of a seven days to die way that I hope that they will... Bl I think they'll start to blend together better because I think that... Indie, Indie, Indie Sound has very good aesthetics in this game. Like, overall... If you look back at the way that things were, and the way that things are, it's come a long, long way. And I like it. Hmm. Be nice, too, when multiplayer comes out and there's more modding. Or modding is will be welcome. Mm. Yeah. Noom. Noom. The thing that always surprised me is that RimWorld's modding community is huge. But I've seen the way that some videos can really just kind of pop off on this game that I've put out there. And I, I think we really still have only seen the tip of the iceberg in terms of what people could do to mod this. When you compare it with like a RimWorld, for example, where you could do anything. I, know, I guess I just talk about those two because those are the two that I'm most known for. But you could talk about other games too. Mmm, satisfaction. A lot of other good games. Yeah, I've actually had a bunch of emails with... I don't know. I feel like I get offered all these game keys now. It's like I, I haven't in a while. Or I haven't tried out new stuff. But I also just felt kind of overwhelmed for a while by the number of game keys. It's kind of like if you try to... It's a it's a weird problem to have. Like there's too much to play. But I just feel overwhelmed by it. Like it's frustrating, you know? When there's so much out there that you'll never be able to experience it all. And it, it kind of makes me give up on trying sometimes. And I kind of restrict myself to games where I feel an immense sense of nostalgia in some way. Ah, a nice mobile home. Ah, actual houses. That's uh, good. Hang on a second. We're getting some, like, slight stuttering now. I don't know why, really. Are there too many here? Maybe it's because it's not vanilla maps. Either that or I could just be slow. I am getting kind of slow. Crap, I'm... Need to get in here. Here we are. Hey, bro classic, thanks for coming out. Playing on Eerie Country, anybody coming in for the first time? Come on in to this, uh, God damn it. That's not what I meant. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Uh, crap. Drink some orange soda. What the hell am I gonna do? Unpleasantly hot. Really? I'm unpleasantly hot? Don't I have coffee in my- Oh no, I left that coffee back there. Well, unfortunately the soda doesn't have caffeine. It did make me have more fun. 
I think our best option here is just to quietly slink away. Quietly slink away. That was going to be the place I would stay. But I must away. Not here. Not now. Not this way. Uh, actually, you know... Nah, I could take him. Famous last words, but... Oh, man. No, I, I can't take him. Let's reside in this other smaller mobile... Smobile home. Smobile home. See? Like, because it's small. Open that. There we are. Good. You just have to say whatever you want, and then it happens. Why did everyone pick the same just ass pink curtains? Smashing. When they climb over a surface, push, it stuns them so they can't do their lunges fast. Oh, yeah, I've seen some crazy videos on these exploits. Now, what is smashing? Hey, Prelatus. Hey, welcome in. Thanks for the raid. Much appreciated, my friend. Hang on a second. Leave me, give me one second. I gotta just... Uh, what were you guys playing? Ah, poppy plates. All right. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Hey, thanks for the raid. Much appreciated. And Mr. Waffles 65. Thanks a lot for the uh thanks a lot for the sub. <clears throat> Time to eat some beef jerky. And I have a lot of lemonade next to me in real life. Hope it went well. Yeah, well the the animation, I don't know, my friend Nurse made all of these videos about uh exploiting various things that I didn't even really know. They were very good exploits. She she did her work on them. Uh, but like ways that you can exploit the pathing. Path Some of them might end up getting patched out because I, I know they patched the worm thing after the worm playthrough. Uh, this is odd though. Why can't I sleep? Is this bed? Like, no. No sleep for you. Maybe it's something that had to do with the sit and lying mod. Can you imagine if I were cursed to a life of not sleep? No. I will sleep here. And I'll like it. Lie down. Oh, I'm about to do it. Yes. Ah, oh, this is how I sleep with the sleeping mod. Uh, lying down thing mod. A Matt and Matt and me too. Thanks very much for the sub. All right, I am about to sleep. Okay, I'm liking this sleeping animation. I don't know who did the m animations for the lying down and the sleeping. Let me just look. I could sit, or I could lie down. That's kind of nice. I don't know who did these animations, but maybe it'd be nice if they did more. I have to go check out that mod again. This is a new song too. Okay, let's go to sleep. It is 6.50 p.m. Very late in the day. I I'm just as... You know, I'll hear them if they break through the window. I'll be okay. Lying down is a mod. Yes. All right, I awake in the middle of the night. This is so much more immersive, though, being able to lie down. Can you imagine, like, even influencing the quality of your sleep? through pillows and blankets and other garbage like that, I think that'd be nice because that's a lot like Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, upon which much of Project Zomboid is based. You know, um, in Cataclysm, y your quality of your sleep is determined by all of the items underneath you. So if you have like, uh, like a bunch of clothes underneath you, you'll sleep better than if you just have hardwood floor underneath you. Ooh, a pineapple. Let's eat the entire thing. Pineapple Malone. Um, but yeah, if you sleep in a bed, obviously it's better, but you know, the quality of your sleep changes given all those circumstances, and it's difficult to get people to sit down and play Cataclysm who aren't already into it, you know, but it's r g genuinely one of my favorite games. Okay, that's something I don't, <clears throat> excuse me, I've had a lot of like lip smacking in this video, more mouth sounds than I'd care to admit. Something happened. Okay, let's attract him away. Now that sound sounds like a sound. 
You hearing that? Ah, that's good. That's good. There needs to be more minecrafting in Project Zomboid. People love to minecraft. Hmm. House. I will get inside. Here we go. Yes. I'm in. Quietly. Quietly. Is it this door? Yep. Okay, that one I was ready for. I'm rhyming. I didn't even... I didn't even mean to. I did. I did. Ooh, striped t-shirt. So stylish. Stripes are in. Horizontal or vertical? Uh, vertical would look kind of strange. Uh, plunger. I kind of want to go after them with the plunger just to see what type of sound it would make. Probably a plunger sound. Mm, orange soda. Nice. Yeah, we're mining diamonds. No, I don't know. I think people like the blocks. They like stacking them and things like that. I always used to notice that when people would make bases on my server, they would always construct up a couple of levels. It was nice to watch. People out in the woods, off gallivanting and making things for themselves. I liked it. Off they went gallivanting. Ya ye. I don't really know what I'm looking for at this point in time anymore. I think I'm just sort of exploring the map. In particular, I'm looking for the... Maybe it's the Night of the Living Dead house. I feel like I can just get into that place. Though there is an unfortunate hole in one of the uh, floors there. Hey, Ballistic Meat, thanks very much for the sub. Ye, indeed. Ah, there are... There are more here. But I feel like that this amount of zombies, this is the survival difficulty. This is fully manageable for, you know. And yet still presents kind of a challenge for somebody who's played a lot of the game. I don't know, I feel like I've just been playing on too high population. Now, where are we here? Dark Falls Hidden Swamp. Oh. That was what we were just in. That's a great name for a swamp. Get it? Like, it's it's kind of a... Like, dark could be the name of the river, right? That runs through it. Or it could also just be like falls, but it's also dark falls, like night falls. I like that. Hot key move to a mod. I've not tried that. Uh, here we are in the market again. Nice. Well, there are some pretty, pretty houses around here, and I was looking for the ones that are not necessarily survivor ones. There's one in particular that I really like the architecture of it. I think it's somewhere... Uh, further south on the map, I would guess. Because a lot of the map kind of stretches up toward the north. I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I think we tripped there. Might have to rest in this office. Do some resting. Uh, Humperdink, oh, oh, the, the, the last name guy. There we go. Good, you deserve that rest in that chair. How many hours have I clocked in Zomboid? I think it's like 670 now. Something like that. Does, that. does that seem like a lot or a little for how many I've made on it? I've been playing the game for about five years. That's over the course of... Actually, it's not really that much for that amount of time. Beware, Humperdink Obogul. I don't like... That's my least favorite animation. I will slay you. You will burn... Uh, there we go. No one messes with Humperdink Oglethorpe. I'm just throwing out the broken weapons. There's no chance I'm probably going to be able to repair them. Just think of all the effort that would go to. Yeah, it seems like very low hours, right? But also, too, that's because I don't stream. I spend a lot of time watching myself playing it. So if you count time that I spent... I don't know, like, kind of looking back at stuff that I did or reading comments. Probably, like, doubles the amount of time. Ah, oh, those are human sounds. 
Gotta say, I didn't used to get this much satisfaction out of the combat. It usually just seemed kind of frustrating. With the sounds in there, that seems a lot more enjoyable. Like a lizard. Thanks for the 300 bits. You know, I've actually got a lot of lizards around here. There was one on my window the other day. It was like a third floor window. It was just on the screen. What, why are they having damage? Why do they have damage? This is odd. Okay, this is starting to look more like the area that I'm familiar with, but not quite. I'm familiar with like the warehouse areas. Ah, and we have the marsh with the grass. But there are quite a lot of them here. I might be able to take them out, though. With this multi-hit on, it makes the game... I, I might even say twice as easy. Because multi-hit... Multi-hit means that you could fight groups of four or five much easily. That is kind of a game changer, don't you think? Hey, Jolly Roll. Hey, thanks for coming out. Appreciate that. Yeah, there's a lot of small lizards here. It was weird, though, to see it on my window. It was looking at me, and it knew that I was me. Because it was... It looked terrified, because it was like, you're huge. But, you know, it's because I'm just a massive menace to lizards. See, that's the multi-hit. It hit... Can I hit three? Is that the limit? Is two the limit? We might have to try the 10,000 zombies challenge again. If this... Ooh, shit. Missed that. Might be more manageable if multi-hit is a thing. Come on. Come on, people. I don't know, though. I feel like I've done a lot of limited stuff. Maybe I'll end up going back to, like, the mall challenge and stuff like that. It was kind of fun to play as Frank West. A lot of other ideas, though, once multiplayer hits. In particular, I think I'd like to just kind of go over to making episodic stuff like uh, Frankie on PC used to make. He's half the reason I make videos. You know how Frankie would do stuff with DayZ? Yeah, I'd like to do that with Project Zomboid. I don't know, I always felt like a lot of my videos were just... They get a bit too intense in the narrative, but I like that part of it, and I think I'm good at that. You know, like, it's not a bad thing, but I like the way that Frankie could just kind of have fun in the moment. And I think I'd like to bring in more of that. So, yeah. Maybe, like, uh, doing some Zomboid server stuff. Kind of as a follow-up to DayZ. Yeah, the narrative is fun. You know, I don't... It's not too much of it or anything like that. But, you know. It'd be nice if there were more gameplay, I guess, is what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Frankie? Yeah, Frankie, nobody nobody really knows what happened. Or I have no idea. He used to be like the goat on YouTube, but then I, I just haven't seen him as much. I think he went away for some stuff. Didn't he become like a... Like a... Uh, yeah, he became like Hunk, Humperdink Oglethorpe or something like that. I have no idea. I like his stuff, though. Ah, uh, car... Ah, police! This might be our chance at ammunition. Uh, an emergency. I mean an emergency area, not an emergency. Two totally separate things. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, he plays with Sata? Yeah, Sata's his guy, right? Sata seems like a good dude. It was kind of like gaming with Bear grills, you know what I mean? I don't really think I'm like Bear grills though, so I, 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 it took me a couple of years to figure that out, because I thought I would make stuff like that, but I just found I was better with stories. I like a good story. I think that they're compatible though. Yeah, that kind of thing is coming once we get multiplayer. To be honest with you, the sooner we get multiplayer, the better. I think it'll just bring me back into the game, but I'm glad that I'm not feeling tired of it right now. It's always like it kind of ebbs and flows how much I'm into the game. Well, 
that is a thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure that they cannot get through there. Uh, oh, that's something. Oh, so these are. This is a really interesting spot. Holy cow! Hang on a second. We have to smash that window, remove the broken glass, then climb in. Really quietly, because this doesn't even exist in vanilla. This is interesting. Yeah, like more Bob Ross. Like Frankie on PC, but kind of combined with Bob Ross. Think of it kind of like that. But yeah, that was like my go-to thing. I don't know. I... Hmm... Okay, they both came through, but we do have multi-hit still. It'll be okay. It's always in the door. It's always in the doors. Nice. Any more in there? That was the one main danger. I don't want to get hit from the side. Yeah, this is kind of iffy. I'm leaving that open. Hmm. Crap, I don't like this. Come on, dude, go through the- go through the- Ah, uh, he didn't go through the door. Damn it. That was not what I had intended. Alright, I'm not dead, I'm not dead. I'm good. This will not be the last dance with- That was- Damn it. I got stuck in a loop. I think I'm dead. Yeah, that wasn't fair. Let's see what happened there. I think I'm dead. Oh, I am not dead. I'm actually I actually am probably okay. I didn't expect that at all though. See, I opened up the door and I was expecting one to come through. Uh, that didn't happen. So I'm gonna be extra careful this time. Yeah, how did you two... Two men cannot stand the breast in that door at once? Okay, I, I don't buy that. Fortunately, it's very unlikely that I'm infected. I really thought I was dead there. But that was just two scratches. It's not even laceration, so I think each one has like a 5 or 15% chance of infecting me. So I'm okay. I'm good. Yeah, it was maybe a bit too much door cheese. But who doesn't love a bit of cheese? And some peas. But damn, that was loud. Boiled piss. Thanks, much. Thanks for the sub. Much appreciated. Oh, so this determines whether or not you have on a tactical headset. It doesn't really make sense to have on a tactical headset, though, when there's no tactics going on. You know what I mean? So let's take that off. Yeah. Whew, that kind of... Put some hair on my chest. I don't know. What It did something to me. Uh, put some pee in my pants. I don't know why, I just don't feel safe at all in here. Like, why am I still opening up rooms? Why am I still... Ah, here we go. Just one. Yeah, always back up whenever... Somebody asked for tips before, always back up when you're opening a door. Or just yell at the door. Much safer during the zombie apocalypse is just yelling at the doors rather than ever opening them. That's not a good idea, don't do that. We gotta see if somebody has a house key on them now. I don't wanna have to break these things down. Much better off if we can just find something. We did have a police officer zombie in there, so there is a good chance. We have all of this good, like, uh... Security measures. Yeah, we could be okay in here. Now, if I do start to turn... I've set up a decent base camp in here. I could invite my son to this place or something like that. He could take over it for me. Not scared of this one. This place is actually really well defended, so I'm pretty optimistic here. Uh, we need... Uh, unfortunately, there is no key on any of these guys. That's too bad. 
but I still hear thumping from somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, maybe if you just yelled at doors in real life, they would open more. You know, you don't even have to use your hand. Yeah, that's a much better idea. Why don't you do that the next time you get to a door? Okay. It's non-processed food. We'll take it. Rather than an entire bottle of ketchup. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think we're going to be better off here if we just rest in this chair. Oh, let's, let's actually sit down in that chair. Wow, what a immense privilege to just sit down in a chair. We're going to go ahead and uh, remove these bandages and we're going to disinfect. I wish I had done it in the moment, but... Well, I'm... I'm not that fast. Simply, I'm not that fast. Uh, adhesive bandages, I think, are a little bit better. I could probably sterilize them, but I am bleeding, actually, rather fast. I, I don't like that. That's the one thing that I don't like. Uh, this one, however, is not bleeding. I'm bleeding only on the neck. It's kind of funny. I think the adhesive just stays on longer. I can't remember what it is that adhe adhesion does. It might be better off washing, too, just to avoid any kind of infection. Uh, all clothing. We do need water. Water's overrated. Yeah, pretty immersive. Just seeing a YouTube... Uh, the campaign's going okay. We just got scratched a lot, but we're lucky we didn't get bitten. Uh, we kind of fell for a weird door hack spot. Uh... What, what am I saying? No, I just kind of got overconfident. But yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it's not so bad, right? Yeah. Huzzah. Hey, thanks for the sub. Much appreciated you soon. All right, well, I am now rather, uh... I'm feeling sleep overtake my body. I think I'm going to do... Yes, that. I'm going to... God damn it. Why did we get the parent uh, agitated? That's not good. That's pretty bad, actually. Wouldn't it be an interesting end if I, uh... Okay, good. Well, at least it's healing. At least it's healing. Somebody's somebody's uh, yelling in the background. I've got some neck pain. I don't like that. I may have been scratched multiple times on one spot, but I, that seems rather unlikely to me. Yeah, I don't like I don't like the anxiety. I'd I'd actually like to sleep that off right now. See if I can. Yeah, I'm trying to see any other reason for it. I don't have blood on me. Yeah, that's not good. We'll rest. We'll rest a while. Sit down. Sit down, man. Oh, you know what could be causing the agitation, actually? Now that I think of it, is that there is one of them banging on a door, and that may cause that. Okay, so it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm infected. Otherwise, we'd be getting nausea and other um, fantastic other effects. That I might begin to feel. But I might be a zombie, yeah. Okay, I don't really see many other ways into this place. So I think I am going to break down the door. Uh, we'll leave the... Uh, who am I kidding? We'll leave the upstairs one intact. Oh, there is a roof as well. Amazing to be on the roof. Now, you have to watch out whenever you're on a custom map. Because sometimes there are little edges in it that are... Where there's like a missing floor or something. That happened to me once. I broke my leg. Actually, having a broken leg in this game is... Very interesting. It makes it more immersive in some ways. Unfortunately, I had sprinter zombies on that time. So, I was, I was pretty slow. It could be the zombie banging on the door. I hope that it is. We'll find out after probably one more sleep. But my word, it's loud. I feel like there's just going to be a lot of them spilling out any second. Now, we're outside? No, or how are we outside? This doesn't seem like outside. All right. Uh, this is where we get our letters, I suppose. Yeah, I heard that that was one thing that they were trying to update with Noiseworks was making it a little bit more obvious whether a zombie was on the upper floor or the lower floor when you entered into a building. These are such interesting cavernous hallways. I like that. 
Mm, can't go there. Yeah, we get stuck on that. Ah, uh, this is like the head honcho's office. Mm, unfortunately, no. I mean, that would be kind of a weird thing for a police commissioner to just have an armory next to his office. Seems kind of unnecessary. March Ridge Community Center. Could be further out. Eh, let's go back down again. Yeah, I legit can't find what I'm, uh... Oh, here we go. Mmm, I see. Those, these doors are weird. Okay, I think I found the way out. Are you out here? Well, we may never know where you are. There's this one kind of knock, knock, knocking on my chamber door. Oh well. Yeah, yeah we're fine. Oh, there it is. God damn it. I've been looking for you forever, it seems like. Good, now I'm just a nervous wreck. It is going down. Maybe I'm getting better. I'm also a burglar, aren't I? Am I a burglar still? No, I ended up not taking the burglar. Well, then let's just destroy the vehicle. Can I smash? Yeah, there we go. Generally speaking, don't... Why did I do that? I should have done the other side in case this thing had a key in it. Uh, it does not have a key. Okay, so we're a little bit better off than I thought. Can we get the trunk open, though? There we go. The trunk is good. And we... There we go. There we go. That's something. A gas can. Alright, but I am dying to know if I got infected. Let's go back to sleep somewhere safer. Maybe like that emergency. Or maybe just outside in one of these beds out here. And then find out what's next. Find out what's next. Hey, side B, thanks for coming out. Game should add a small chance for pistols to spawn in desk. Yeah, that'd be kind of interesting. Like if you had slightly differently managed loot tables. Like the toilet gun in Seven Days to Die. Ooh. I'm critical of a lot of the things in Seven Days to Die, but there's a lot of fun Easter eggs in that game, you know? I like it a lot. I, I think that's a fun part of it. Let's I should not have slept in here, but I'm I am infected. <sighs> Alas. Yeah, I'm definitely dead. Well time to go find some bleach. But this is an interesting room first off. I know I'm dead, but listen to all those voices, Jesus. All right, now we're going to go find some bleach cuz I'm going to die. I've never done I've never actually dr uh had a drink of bleach before. We're going to go see if we can find that laundromat. Didn't we have a laundromat somewhere nearby? Hi, I'm here for the bleach. <laughs> go to the laundromat. We've got to do it, but it seems like the most classic PZ moment, you know? It'd be kind of a bummer. I should probably take off some more clothes, too. Because I know I won't need anything anymore. Yeah, let's wear the night vision goggles. We might as well. Well, that's kind of a bummer. They aren't even working. Oh, well. It was nice while it lasted. Hey, KTG plays. Thanks for the sub. Well, I guess we'll just call it one a one-off adventure. Show me the bleach. So many police stations, not enough uh, bleach stations. I mean, it was worth it. Philosophical adventures. Well, they all, they're only just beginning here. Oh, look, a food market. That seems like a, an ideal location to keep the cans of bleach. They added it in, I believe, as a meme in the game, and it's just become... It's become more than a meme. Uh, this is not... Oh, that's kind of cool. Hopping the fence to get into the alley to be safe. Yeah, I do feel kind of safe here. Look, there's even one on the garbage. I still don't want to be killed by them. I want to be killed by the bleach, you know. If I have to make a decision. 
Here we are, we're at the place. Unless if I'm just overwhelmed in this incredibly sketchy alley. This is... Oh, God. Hello. I kind of deserve it. I was playing pretty... Oh, God. I was playing pretty recklessly, after all. All right, well, now I'm infected anyway. Get off of me! Uh, I'm not in here. Hang on a second, where is some bleach when you need it? Uh, this is not bleach in here in the food store. I was thinking that this would be my, uh, okay, well, this is gonna be a sad end. No! Oh god, please, no! I could at least go down swinging in the corner. Jesus! This might be the most climax. I'm not even dead yet. I still have about 30 seconds until I die. But at least I now know for sure. This is the coolest place to die in. I've never had a death this exciting in this game. I... Oh, I feel immersion. Ah, oh, there's not a door there. Okay, now I, I'm, I'm actually quite dead. No. Ah, that's good. I haven't died with the new sound effects yet. Ah, an even hundred. What do you know? What do you know? Couldn't have planned it any better. So dies Humperdink Oglethorpe. That was a rather immersive life. I don't know, I, I think we overstretched, but I, I wanted to test out the new build stuff. That was cool. It was fun. Uh, they took my pants. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> my pants are just gone. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. It was fun while it lasted. 